Hi everyone thank you guys for tuning in to my channel today. Like Kate in a blue coat by Epo9, Ward against the cold. Which is fantastic news for admirers of Kate's style, as we get to see how a royal handles the chilly weather. Kate arrived in the same blue Epo9 coat dress she wore to the Anna Freud Center in London that morning. She pulls it off with style, and as you might anticipate, she wears this fitted blue coat dress with impeccable taste. It's by Epo9, a London-based brand she's worn before that draws inspiration from 1950s and 1960s fashion shapes. So consider a mix of A-line cuts, longer skirts, and waistlines that are cinched in. Three-quarter length sleeves, a collar with notch cutouts, a thin matching belt, and large pleats in the back are all aspects of Kate's coat, which is made of double wool creep and is a stunning shade of royal blue, but how apropos. Do you think it's typical Kate? Before watching a session where a group of children were creating memory jars, William and Kate received a briefing about the charity's work when they first arrived at the facility. Each color in the layers of densely packed colored salts served as a reminder of their departed loved one. Aoife, age 9, and Keenan, age 12, joined William at the table. Tomorrow marks six years since the death of their father John from pancreatic cancer. Before going to Aoife's mother, Marie, to highlight the value of talking about the person they had lost, William knelt down to engage with the children and shared with Aoife his own personal experience of losing his mother. William, who serves as the charity Child Bereavement UK's royal patron, cut the cake for the occasion. He said, I think that for youngsters it is often difficult to understand that. Are there any relatives or close friends who can keep an eye on you as well? He questioned Marie. You should realize that's also crucial. John didn't fit the criteria at all because he was young, healthy, and ate well, according to Marie, a Redbridge resident who later spoke out about the disease. Once he was eventually diagnosed, we lost him pretty soon. My kids, who were almost six and three, were. Although my daughter was having a difficult time and didn't want to, my son still wanted to talk about it. Since we started working with them in June, it took me a while to locate Child Bereavement UK, but what they have done for our family has been wonderful. Although Aoife preferred group therapy over one-on-one -on -one counselling, the activities they use there allow her to talk about her thoughts in a more casual setting. It has also been of great assistance to me. The Duchess seemed ecstatic to be participating in an art session with kids at her second engagement of the day. I hope you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe for more updates thanks for watching.